Oh, that's quite close. How to install Windows 10 on a Lenovo Think Lenovo ThinkPad uh, L520. Um, this is the, this is the, the hard drive had failed, so I put a new hard drive in. So there's nothing on there whatsoever. Um, I've got a USB stick with Windows 10 32-bit on. They don't seem to like Windows 64 bit. I don't think they geared up for it. It's only got two gig of memory, which I'm going to upgrade. And I've also upgraded to an SSD hard drive. So power on. It's by hand, sorry. F12. Up comes a boot menu. Very, very simple. Down to secure lock, which is the name of my USB stick. Press enter. You have to wait a minute. I don't know why, it just takes about a minute if that. Till you see the little symbol appear, so patience. If I can move that like that, you'll see. Give it a sec, there we go. When you put the 64 bit version in, it doesn't, it just does that. Oh, I got an error. Uh, it looks like I started off with other media. I did have a go at this before and I stopped it, so I thought I'd film it for you guys. So I'm going to say no to the upgrade. It'll take me to a clean window. So United States at the top, I can't help that. That stays like that. I change the one at the bottom to United Kingdom. Press that. It's on United Kingdom as well for the ink keyboard. Install now. Just a quick bit. It'll, then it'll come up to, it should bring me up to a partition page. An agreement of the license and then a partition page. So just bear with us. Boom, boom. Setup is starting. You can see there's got a bit of a light somewhere. I don't know where that's coming from. Got no lights on. There we go. So you have to agree to the license. This is mainly just for beginners. Please don't get offended if you think that I'm the the, the big guys out there who know what they're doing. Okay, what I'll do with mine, I'm going to delete the original partitions that I put on there. So we'll delete. Yep. Top one. Well, second one, partition, delete the partition, okay. That should leave a single partition, which is a full size of 120 gig SSD drive. Okay, I'm not going to put any new or anything, I'll just go straight to next. Okay, and away she goes. When you get to the finishing up bit at the bottom here, uh, and it'll automatically start to reboot, remove your USB stick. Otherwise, sometimes they can reboot and you're thinking, hey, when you come back and you're not looking, you'll realise it's back into startup mode again. So I'll hold it there and I'll let you know when it gets further. Just so uh, my SSD drive, why I put one in. If you want a good upgrade and you can't really afford a new laptop, which is in most cases because we're not, no one's mega rich anyway. So one of the easiest upgrades is an SSD drive. It will fly it along quite nicely. And an extra stick of memory, which I'm going to order from Crucial. So when this is all logged on, um, I'll go to crucial.com. It'll scan this automatically for me. Um, so crucial.com, it's not a plug or anything for them. It's what I use. Um, and then you'll let it scan your machine. It'll tell you what you've got and it'll tell you what it can upgrade with if it can, depending on the age of the machine. But normally it comes back with something. So at 26%, it's going on quite nicely. Um, 28, I'll get back to you in a bit. Okay, as you can see, uh, getting things ready, installing features, installing updates and finishing off. As soon as it reaches the that, I'm going to take the stick out. Okay, and then she'll, I can force it to restart, but I'm not really bothered, it'll do it on its own. I just thought I'd show you this little device, I've done this in another video. This is from 3, and this is a portable router. Because um, I'm out of the house at the moment, I'm actually in my van. Um, this is absolutely ideal for getting on the internet for updates and everything, and it's fast, and it works. We didn't think it would work in Wales, and it works in Wales, everybody knows where that is. That's in the UK, where there's loads of mountains and no signal, and it worked great. So, I'll connect this in a minute, it's in a Hawaii. Uh, 29D3. I've got 4G at the moment as well. So, 
getting ready. This takes a bit of a, a while, so I won't bore you with this in a minute. I'll come back in a sec. Okay, that's the second reboot. So it'll start loading the usual drive, and then it'll find the internet in a second. And automatically it comes up with this page. Sorry about the shakiness, I'm holding with one hand. So mine is the... If I come down to the Hawaii, click that, check in, then I'll put the password in, which, which I know it sounds dark, but I'm not going to show you. Where's the light on this? Hold on, folks, let me just, I don't know if I can stop it now, if you can see that. There we go. So then to next. Checking connection. Okay, I use express settings. Okay, wait to the next page. This will take a while. Getting crucial updates. Okay, so we'll wait. I don't know if you see this on other Windows licenses, um, Windows 10. But this is because where I work, um, this is this is belongs to a a member of staff who works at the same place. So I'll do this with this piece of software. Oops, sorry. And then next, and I'm going to join a domain. And then next. Hold on one second. All right, sorry about that. Do my head in. Right, so click the first one. You're probably different on other windows. Just a moment, okay. I'm gonna join a local Active Directory. Okay. And that's where I missed. Bloody light shining in my eyes. Next. I'm just gonna call this, just, this is just a sh demo, home. I'm not gonna do any passwords. And next. It will start doing some more critical updates. Hi. It'll carry on this till it gets to the final page. We're happy you're here. I'll just pause it there for a sec. See what comes up. Lots of great features to get excited about. Not really. Uh, okay, it says you have to agree to the updates. I've just done that. 0% and then click next and then just wait so when it's finished updating you'll get to your finished screen done bingo if you enjoyed the video you'd like to thumbs up that'd be great if you'd like to subscribe that would be even better not greater but better and uh, thanks for watching take care see you in the next vid